find that guy is a good one to practice your Midori counter till you get it right. Clearly executed well by me. Not not at all. So this is the only footage I have of this uh like the second general boss fight. The area gets to be a little tricky. Um but once you explore it a little bit, you start to figure out where everybody is and you can take him out. I actually ended up taking him out with like three other guys still kind of around me. Uh, it still worked out. He's, he's easier than you think. Uh, honestly, you just got to dodge around him. Uh, it seems like a little more uh, Dark Souls-ish where you just dodge around and then you get attacked. And that's literally all I did. To do. Um, but in this video... Um, you get to see me basically scout the area and then run around like a coward only because I find this secret path and I'm like, oh, where does this go? And you shall see where it goes. This little guy, oh, the, the bell ringer. Thanks, you little turd. He doesn't take much, but he likes to just hang up there and tell when it runs around. Oh look, I found somebody! Ding, 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 ding! Like he wins a prize for ringing the bell or something. I'm not really sure what he thinks he's gonna get, but... He got... Sword through his throat. Just like that guy. Sword through your throat for everybody! Oh! Ha ha! There you go. Sword through your throat. Who else wants some? Do this. There we go. Throat sword. Oh man, here we go. All right, what am I gonna do with this guy? Ah, let's see if we can get him somewhere nice and flat. Oh, you know what I should have done? I was trying to knock him off the ledge over there. Knock him off the bridge like I did to his brother. Fell off the ledge to his doom. After. I cut his throat off. Oh, I could do it right here. Ah, oh, that flame does not go far. Good to know. We got the axe. We got the. All right, so we got. There you go. Now you know you're good. What's over here? Yeah, we could move right back into. Yeah. I'm trying to want to. I basically want him to like forget about me, so I can stealth kill him. To get half his life bar down. I mean, that seems a pretty good. Oh! Well, he followed me in here. Cowardly ninja. Jumping around, just collecting stuff. Not wanting to fight. Huh. I'm seeing a spirit. If I remember that I had it. If I only remembered I had that thing. Hmm. We'll see. Sorry, too much foreshadowing. Let's just take this guy. No, nope, nope, see? I get too greedy. That's my problem. I'm like, I can do it. I can get another hit in. I'm like, no, just, just dodge and back away or just deflect. Deflect the shots. He's got nothing. I'm like psyched myself out. I'm like, oh. I will down two health bars. Like a chump. Just because I wasn't stealthy enough to begin with. Well, let's see what I can do. Maybe he's not standing there, keep getting hit. Seems like a dumb thing. There we go. Roll. Healing. Uh, get him. Go after him now. What is that here? Ha! Ah. I hate that. Not time drinking that well at all. Death. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go explore this path. I'm not gonna alert any of you buttholes. When you guys are coming with me, I'm seeing what's over here. This whole cool area. Turn back if you value your life! You cannot behead the headless. Our swords and pikes did nothing! 
Huh. That is true. It cannot be head headless. Guess that's the way. I love that you have this like huge thundering weight when you hit that. Boom. All right, uh, where can we go? Oh, I see light. Can I make it? Um, hmm. No trees. No. Wait. Is there a ledge or something? I can go. Maybe go back that way. Can't go up there. Just walk over here. There's a ledge below me, to the left. To the left, buddy, there it is, look, that one. Keep looking down, oh, you can get over there. There it is, do it, just jump. I have faith in you. Nice, that ninja. Controls are very tight in this game, I feel like you, you do pretty much what you set out to do. Sometimes grabbing the ledge of the top of a angled roof can be tricky, but Otherwise, tight controls. Love it. What? What's in here, man? What's in here? <laughs> Ooh, it's not creepy at all. Ish. Love the, a ninja with a grappling hook. You can't go wrong with that. I feel like that's actually what made me want to get this game. The ninja with a grappling hook. Hey, that's going to take me back to that ogre. Oh, I know where I am now. Look at that. So every time I tried, before I fought the ogre, there was this thing across the way, and I'm like, hey, how do I get there? And now I know. Another creepy tunnel. <coughs> uh, purple glowy thing, good? Bad? Huh? Purple glowy thing? No, that definitely looks bad. I'm gonna go with bad. Oh, man, apparently fire doesn't hurt him, but ah, oh, one swing hurts me. Um, are you gonna come down here? Is this my safe spot? Mm -hmm. well, looks like uh. Oh, you can warp. You can warp. I can't seem to lock on to you. Huh. All right, now this is where I am recording this while watching this footage the second time around. And so, like, had I thought about it, that confetti, whatever it is that I picked up earlier, said something about helping me fight spirits or something. And I think that's, that's what I should use to actually fight this guy. I don't know how long it lasts or what the all the details are, but someday we'll come back and fight this creepy weirdo. The headless, apparently. And even as that little nice note read, I love this game. It really tells you everything you need to know if you just pay attention. But I'm going to be a chicken and just get out of here because... I didn't realize I could probably use the confetti to maybe fight the guy. Oh. Yeah! See? Escape route? Perfect! Demon belt? Excellent! Sounds delicious.
apparently there's secret rooms like that throughout this game up against random walls maybe they're not random oh good oh I'm in Resident Evil heck ah uh, you know what I don't have time to figure out what you are you're just gonna have to die <laughs> yeah it's like Vega meets Resident Evil awesome weirdo guy This looks beautiful. I love these are your fast travel things too. Um, this is my first uh, from software game. I'm absolutely loving it. It's it is difficult, um, but I don't feel like it's difficult in a cheap way. It's just difficult. It's not difficult to be difficult either. It's it's difficult till you learn and like when you. You're, it's like teaches you. You got to be good at this game. You got to get good, as the kids maybe used to say. Um, so yeah, this is just downright beautiful. Look at that landscape out there. Wow. All right, what do I know about this bell? So when you ring this bell, everything gets harder, but you also get better rewards for it. I believe you get more. Money, I believe you get more uh, experience, but everything's harder. Of course I'm gonna ring it, you gotta at least try. It's really good for when you're trying to grind. Come here, ring this bell, get some extra stuff. Uh, makes your grinding that much better, so. So yeah, there's some uh, cowardly exploration that got me to the bell demon. Till next time, my friends. Ding, ring a ding, ding, ring a ding, ding.